Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Butcher Circus and welcome back to the best of 10 against Mr. T. So, we are currently at match number 3 and it looks like we are playing against a familiar face, so we're playing against this uh, team. I'm not sure if Mr. D has played it already, maybe he hasn't and I'm just confusing it, but this is a team that uh, pretty much only he plays. It's a very interesting team with the Houndmaster and we're gonna see how we want to react to it, so... I think that first things first, we have to go for a slime before we get pulled, and to do that we can either go for a slime on the flat or on the bounty hunter. I'm going for the bounty hunter because I like to kill the bounty hunter early, especially in a team like this where there's only one finishing character, and because that's going to prevent him from using finishing for a while. While disrupting the flagellant would have also been great, uh, getting the bounty hunter out to position 4 is really really good, because the only way that he can reposition himself is either through an act out in like 5 rounds, or if he moves forward, or if the Arbolish decides to go for a polo, which is probably subpar. So now there's actually going to be a mark for death on my abomination here. That's an interesting mark for death, okay. How do we react to this? We can guard, for sure, with the Man at Arms, but then what's going to happen is the Man at Arms gets target whistled and then he's going to get focused down. I still think that's preferable to just dying immediately with the, with the Abomination, so I'm going to go for a guard here. But yeah, I do believe what's going to happen right now is this, that there's going to be a target whistle and our prot is going to go down to 30. And then it's uh, going to also get negated by 20 because of the Arbalest Piercing Coral. So absolutely insane the amount of um, like damage potential that Mr. D's team has here. Like you can, you can basically negate 50 prot off a character. Like that's brutal. That's absolutely brutal. We get a Hound Seri here. Thankfully hit three characters out of four, even with the extra dodge, and we hit the Houndmaster somehow, so that was a pretty good outcome. I can only hope that the Flagellant's uh, outcome will be as good. Weird punish going for the Manor Arms. I mean, that's the only character you're going to go for, but I don't feel like it would be too necessary. Uh, now if there's a crit, it can definitely do 39 HP. Yeah, uh, it can definitely do that. Let's see, Reign of Sorrows here, the hit chances aren't great, but we do get to hit on the Bounty Hunter, but we don't, we don't get the bleed, so that was kind of a disaster right there. If I do the bleed on the Bounty Hunter, I would have been happy, but um, not getting that, well, it could be worse, but it's also not great. Of course, we can get uh, kind of destroyed by Sniper Shot here. Let's not forget that, like, it can pierce through the guard anyway, and uh, the Abomination would probably still drop to this store, <laughs> but uh, there wouldn't be too much follow-up. Caltrops won't be, wouldn't be able to do enough damage, and since uh, Mr. D doesn't have any way of breaking the guard, he would, only, he would have to be to kill me with the Sniper Shot, which is the ability that actually does damage. But my Man at Arms, despite having had 60 prod just by the start of last round, is now in a very dire spot, but we're gonna click and we're gonna go Command, because we need the accuracy buffs. Hound Seri is, I mean, not Hound Seri, but Hound Master is a character that really likes that accuracy, and Hound Seri is the greatest benefactor from it, because now we can pretty much reliably hit everyone, hopefully get a lot of crits and start getting afflictions and just win from there. So what's gonna happen right now is that Man at Arms is in a really rough spot. So he's probably not going to die to either a Kamhidr or a Caltrops, because it just won't do enough damage. Especially Caltrops. Caltrops is never going to do enough. Kamhidr could do enough damage. Let's see. He's going to go for it, gets a crit, and gets a death or so. A little bit unfortunate for me that there was a crit right there. I don't think it would have done enough damage otherwise. And got the 50-50 death blow too, but... Oh well, what can you do? Sometimes things don't go great. I did manage to go first round one, so it's not like I can complain or anything. We're gonna de-transform here, go for that beast smile, get a nice repost out of it, but I'm gonna have to say this abomination is also not gonna live too long because Sniper Shot is coming, Hound's Rush is coming, Punish is coming, and I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. This is actually wow, I'm surprised. He's gonna decide to shift focus onto the doggy. Well, how do I respond to that? Maybe with just the immediate rain of sorrows, or do I go Hound's Harry and then uh, do I want to use Lequoons? Like, Lequoons is probably going to be helpful because because uh, of the regen. Like, the regen is going to be good. Oh, that's a value. That is so much value right there. Reign of Sorrows double crit. <laughs> Look at that. It's not every day you, you see Reign of Sorrows double crit. Like, this is what this is what Shep Stress should do every time. Because you have Command buffs, you have Crimson Hook, you have the Flagellant's very nice crit with this uh, Reign of Sorrows. Like, it should be critting way more than it does. But, oh well. We're gonna go for it again, and uh, we do hit three characters out of the four. We don't hit the doggy, and we also don't get a crit with the Houndmaster. So getting crit with the Houndmaster is, mu is even more impactful than getting them with the Flash, but oh well. That's probably gonna be one shot. Oh, oh my god! 92% chance to hit, and it whiffs. It whiffs right there, like, that is a massive whiff. 
that is just nasty, absolutely nasty, and a game changer too. So I'm gonna drop another rain of stars, I don't feel like my flash jump is in danger right now, we get another crit! Oh, is that gonna be enough for an affliction on the Arbalest? Not quite, but it's definitely enough for an affliction on the Bounty Hunter. He goes irrational, that's the worst, technically, so I don't think that's too good of a thing to, to get on him, and he shouldn't be lasting too long. Arbalest is gonna go, she's not gonna get the plus 12 accuracy, come on, go Paranoid. Okay, Paranoid is minus 25% damage and also has a chance of doing very silly things, but it's probably still gonna do enough, yeah. Uh, still crit for 45, despite Paranoid being 25, minus 25% damage, because... Uh, purely and simply because uh, of that uh, of that crit buff, right? Because for some reason, the more damage an Arbalest does, the more damage an Arbalest does. <laughs> I know that doesn't make any sense, but that's how it is. We're gonna go Lick Wounds here. We're gonna lose one of our command buffs, but we're gonna keep the region. I think region is gonna be helpful here because there's probably gonna be Hound's Rush, but then I'm hoping that Bounty Hunter, Irrational Bounty Hunter, just does something dumb. Oh my god, the dodges! Mr. D is getting hardcore punished for not having a single accuracy buff on his team, and I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Like, the monkey spawn, our doggy, is winning the match right now. Literally, without monkey spawn, we'd lose. With monkey spawn, we actually have a winning shot. So let's see, right now I could go for a rake. I have, wow, I have a lot of plus damage. I could go for a rage on the Arbalest and just drop her down to zero. Well, if we kill both the backliners, I don't think we can lose this. Uh, let's go for it. Ah, I think that was, oh, that was almost a mineral, but that's still enough damage that she's gonna drop to death snow next round, so who cares. Uh, the bounty hunter is also dropping, and we have this, uh, a lot of horror being applied, so this is great. This is a great situation. There's already been one redeem, oh no, there hasn't. There's just been suffer so far, and uh, oh, the bounty hunter isn't dropping to death snow, actually. The suffer kind of prevents that. Let's see. It, what is there gonna be right now? Maybe a caltrips? I think a move forward here is just the best play. Yeah, he goes for for that move forward, pretty calculated, pretty much what you'd expect here. We're gonna de-transform, I'm gonna go for a beast spawn before uh, my opponent just decides to kind of play some tricks on me. And we do hit that doggy because of the command buff. And that's just enough that the bounty hunter is actually dropping to Death Star now. But the flash one's probably gonna click, heal the other characters and then do something like that. But yeah, this is a rough spot for, for Mr. D. There is a blight resist on that doggy, so he's not quite as in much pain as I would want him to be yet, but oh well. It's it's still decent for us. Paranoid on the doggy is oh that's that's com complicated. That's really complicated because that's an extra ten dodge, and with the guard dog, it pretty much means that he can't be hit. However, however, the, the guard fails, so I guess he's just gonna guard dog someone else. Uh, in that case, there's a few things a few things I can do right now. So I can either go rain of swords with my last command buff, and it's probably gonna do pretty decently, or I can go punish here, and it's also gonna do decent, but it's. Well, yeah, I mean, if I got a crit out of it, it would be great. I'm gonna go for this. Sadly, I missed the Houndmaster. I mean, I had the command buff, I was really hoping it would hit. And uh, overall, I just didn't do too much with that play. Going for Punish might have been a better play, because it would have taken out the Bounty Hunter a little bit faster, but oh well, what can I do? Bunchon's gonna click right now, he's definitely gonna go for some sort of heal. He's gonna go for heal on the Bounty Hunter, and the BH stays alive. I'm gonna have to say that's probably not gonna be the case for, for my own doggy here. I think he's in a lot of danger. We have one more command buff. No no crits with the doggy. I don't think we've had a single doggy crit this round. I mean the flash ones has been pretty good, but yeah, everyone else not so much. The Elvis is dropping down to zero, but keep in mind she's pretty much taking zero stress. <laughs> I mean I say zero stress, but that's still 13 total. Yeah, it's just that the um, uh, the mark, like the guard buff, minus 70% stress taken while guard is just absolutely brutal. Now the Bounty Hunter is gonna act, he's probably gonna go for the kill, Irrational, do something dumb. Oh, that's not enough. There's gonna be a death blow right there, and this is a rough spot for us, this is a really rough spot. I can go for a kill here, or I can go for a punish on the Flagellant. 23% uh, hit chance, and uh, do I go for kill or do I go for this? Well, this would be useful. How useful would it be? Well, maybe not that much. Oh, he's actually dropping down to zero again. I'm gonna go for this, we don't take the kill. And we barely do any stress again. Ah, oh, this is this isn't being sufficient right now. I mean, Beast Smile is definitely gonna hurt, but I'm this isn't being sufficient. I'm gonna have to say, like they're all still alive, and I don't long, I no longer have a doggy for for those hounds areas, so that's not great. I'm actually, gonna be a guard dog on the bounty hunter just so he doesn't take as much stress. Kind of letting the Arbalist uh, dry back back there, and we actually hit the Hound Master somehow. 92 dodge, what 92 dodge, man. But we don't get the Blight anyway, so we hit the 92... Uh, wait, no, we hit the 20% hit chance or something. 
but we failed the 95% blight chance, so it looks like there is justice in this world. Crit heal for 14, no justice. Absolutely no justice. Oh, I should have killed the bounty hunter earlier. Uh, yeah, maybe that would have been the play, maybe not, but um, this isn't looking too handy. It's going to be a mark for death right now. Yeah, that's... I mean, there's probably going to be a one-shot coming. Even with Paranoid, like, all these characters just do way too much damage to us. Let's see, what does the Flash want to go for right now? Maybe an Exsanguinate on my Flash? Kind of just to do some pressure. Oh, oh, okay, that's kind of risky, but it's a 95% death low resist. Like, there's no way I actually go for a play like that. Like, no way. Yeah, I don't think there's uh, that's actually even a play. I mean, it's a 5% chance of getting the death low, but I just need to kill the other characters. So I'm going to go for this. 3% hit chance on the on the doggy, by the way. <laughs> I have 95 accuracy against 92 dodge. <laughs> yeah, I told you Paranoid is going to be a, a big threat, and it is being a big threat. Come on, Paranoid, do something dumb. That's a self so that's not so that's not the greatest action for him, but it's not a bad action by, by any means. I'm gonna go for the beast spell right now. We do some stress. We do. It's just not enough. That minus stress taken is so brutal at this at this final stage because I just can't do quite enough to to actually kill characters. But the Arbos is getting in a really rough spot, and as long as Paranoid does something dumb or you know, come on, act out, please. It's gonna go for a sniper shot. Gets a crit out of it. I I missed the repost. Come on, 85% hit chance on that repost. I would have dropped the Arbos to death door by the way. So the repost there was crucial for our victory, but oh well. Uh, thankfully the crit wasn't quite enough HP, but come on, it's super close. Exsanguinate, that could be a death blow. Oh, of course. We do zero damage. Yeah, I, sh I should I should have uh, I should have guessed we'd do zero damage on the repost. How do we even do zero? I'm I'm not entirely sure. Is it just because I'm at death store and he has 10 prot? I guess. Irrational goes, come hit on the corpse, so finally a decent act out. And uh, I can do something on my abomination now before I die, basically. Uh, how much stress would this do? It would do six stress. Uh, not quite enough to kill him. Yeah, not not by any means. Going for a heal right now isn't going to help me either, so I'm going to go for this. That's going to cause a heart attack for sure. I'm going to have to hope that this kind of just spirals out of control for Mr. D here. Like, this is the only play I've got. Irrational can hit himself. Uh, like, if, if the finisher just did something here, that, that would be wonderful, and uh, I'd be able to just win this match. Let's see. Oh, well, there's no act out. Yeah, it's pretty much going to be a confirmed death blow. Gets a crit out of it. Doesn't really impact too much. It's probably even better for me. Well, the stress heal isn't, but yeah. Well, time to Reign of Sorrows. Sadly, another miss. But that's going to be a heart attack on the Arbles, but if Paranoid doesn't have any act out, she can just heal herself, and she can just be, like, totally fine here. And the Flanchant might be down some healing, but I don't see how I'm going to win this against the Paranoid Doggy. Like, I just can't hit him. I literally cannot hit him, and the Arbles just keeps healing herself. Yeah, this is rough. Okay, come on, do something dumb. A paranoid, just no act outs. Zero freaking act outs. He refuses the guard now, but there's still two rounds of guards, so it doesn't even matter. It's going to be a target whistle. There goes my prot. Okay, there goes my prot. A little bit of stress healed, so <laughs> maybe that's going to be helpful. <laughs> Not really, but you know, you, you can always hope. Yeah, I, I need to kill that bounty hunter somehow. I need to get rid of all the other characters. It's going to be a punish. Gets a crit out of it, of course, because why not? And um, yeah, I, I can't really complain too much because I did get kind of really lucky earlier this match, but yeah. Oh well, what can he do? At least the Arbolst is dead now, unless there's a heal. But there's probably going to be a heal, or just an act out. But, oh, that's actually a dead bounty hunter, so maybe there's a shot. Yeah, maybe there is a very small shot. Oh, that's almost enough stress, but it's really not enough. Oh, it's almost enough, you know? Jeez, the <laughs> Mr. D says monkeys. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of afflicted characters in a nutshell. They are they are very monkey-like. We still have three exsanguinates. Like, it's gonna come down to a 1v1, and uh, this isn't looking too good. Like, if even if it comes down to a 1v1, it isn't looking too good. Battlefield Bandage, like, she can't refuse her own heal, obviously. And I'm just gonna have to keep spamming Grain of Sorrows while the Plasma will just keep trying to kill me. And, yeah, that's not nice. Hound's Rush is going to go for it, doesn't do quite enough damage, but the Punish probably will, and yeah. Punish or maybe even an Exsanguinate right now. Uh, gets a crit heal out of that too, come on. Come on, that's that's not how matches are won. I'm really trying to make this work, but I don't think Shep's Stress is actually going to win today. There's going to be a what? <laughs> There's going to be a Suffer right there. Okay, you know what, we go for a 90 of getting the Death Lord, right? 
yeah, I think I think we do. Yarbos can't hit this right now, so like this is the only play I can go for. Also, he died last round. He died round eight. Let's remember that. Ninety percent chance of not getting the death blow. We we rolled for the ten, but we didn't get it. Sadly, I mean, I just have to roll for these. And actually, I just realized if the doggy is the last one alive, he can't do anything because he doesn't have Harry or or stun. Yeah, if he's the last one alive, he literally can't do anything. That's a little bit of stress, it's not enough. Hans Rush, don't crit. Okay, that's not a crit, but that's still a lot of damage. And now the Yarvos is probably gonna heal the Flange, and then the Flange is gonna go punish, right? Or maybe Flange goes Exsanguinate or something, yeah. Yeah, no, there's gonna be Battlefield Bandage, and now Flange can just go punish, and I'm at this store. Hmm, we're gonna have to get really lucky here. I'm gonna have to hope that... Oh, really? Tries to suffer, says no, and tries to suffer again. Well, I'm definitely not going to go Exsanguinate right now. I'm going to go double Reign of Sorrows, and I'm going to hope that with the plus 15 accuracy that I have right now, I can hit both of them and maybe call some Havoc. So I only hit one, but that's not going to be a death blow. That's a death door, and that's actually an act out for enough stress, so both of them are going to be a death door. I can only hope for these paranoid monkeys to do something. Like, when I get paranoid, you remember last uh, last video, when I get paranoid, like, the character just becomes stupid. When they get paranoid, they hit the fire zone for some reason. Also, that didn't heal stress, what the hell? Uh, it should have healed 10 stress, right? Content of Absolution, like, the hero was hit. <laughs> it doesn't heal stress for some reason. Now it's just gonna be eloquence, yeah, they're fine. They're fine, and my flash one keeps dying to the 1v1. Uh, I, I'm just gonna have to not withstand that death blow, and that's gonna be a 10%. Wow, GG, okay, so that's gonna be match number 3 for Mr. D, but we're gonna bounce back, don't worry about it, guys. Alright, and here we go, on to a match number 4, so... Now I am playing the one and only, the one that everyone fears, the WD, the World Domination Team. And Mr. D is playing the Flazen Stress Comp, so something I hadn't seen in quite a while, actually, and it is a really decent team, and not too much of a um, good composition for me to fight against, but it, it will manage, will definitely manage. So we're gonna start off by stunning this Crusader, because we don't want him going Bork of Light, and then we'll we'll see what, what we do from there. Kinda wanna see what Mr. D does, actually just gonna go for the immediate um, the immediate click on the Crusader. And I'm honestly... Wow, okay, the Man Arms has Shield Spike. This isn't the traditional Flays and Stress team. That's a very weird Man Arms, okay. I guess it has kind of a better answer against um, against other DOT teams or Stress teams with like Hans Ari and AoEs. Well, in answer to that, I think the play right now is actually going to be a weird one. I'm going to drop Caltrips here, and you're going to be wondering, like, what the hell, Shep? Why are you not using your mark? Well, the thing is, you see these two tanky boys? I'm going to have to take away at them somehow, and I have two stuns. If I can remove their actions, I'm essentially doing two extra damage because of the stuns, and they don't have any heals. I mean, they have one heal total, which is the Relic to the Flame, and also Absolution. So this ticking away is slowly but surely going to... Turn the, the, turn the tide of the match on them. It's also going to force the Grave Robber to go Toxin Trickery if she actually wants to keep her keep her HP. So right now, I can go for a double stun. I can do a lot of different things. I want my Arbalus to act last, obviously. And let's see, stun chances. 80% to hit. We whiff it. I mean, that just happens, you know. 80% uh, chance to hit. Sometimes you miss it. That's why I went for the Manacles first, because I knew Manacles was a confirmed chance. But... Oh well, what can you do? You're gonna you're gonna hit some, you're gonna miss some. Like this is the problem with stuns. Uh, but thankfully, this action wasn't like do or do or die for us, make or break. So we're still okay here. This is a 10 to 18. If we got if we got a good damage roll on that, we could have dealt some serious damage to the mana arms. But no, he's alive. He's chilling. So now there's gonna be a transformation, probably a slam on the crusader to just get him out of position. And yeah, there goes the slam. We can slam that uh, abomination in return to kind of break the guard, and I think I'll do just that. So we're gonna transform here. There's probably gonna be a bulk of light soon, or maybe a, kind of like a, a zealous right away, but I don't know. We're gonna slam the abomination to the back, actually, we somehow get to move. I mean, I say somehow, but it was a 75% chance with the crit, even with the extra move resistance. I think the move resistance should technically be bigger, like, you're not supposed to push an abomination away, like, just look at the size of this chonker, the big doggy is not something you should be able to push that easily. But oh well, there's gonna be a panic dodge right now, gets a crit out of it, uh, despite not even having a confirmed hit chance, by the way. But does get a crit, so there really isn't much we can do. Well, we're gonna drop a holy lance onto that abomination, hopefully do just enough damage. And now he's, he's in a, a lot of danger. He's definitely in a lot of danger. He can't be guarded, but he can heal himself. He can get healed by the Crusader. 
but overall, I think we are still in a okay condition here. Yeah, there's going to be a heal by the Crusader. It's going to heal for for six, which you know it's it's an amount. And now we're going to drop a sniper shot and probably well, do we though? Actually, we don't. Uh, I may have done a little bit of a misplay here, but I'm going to go for a sniper shot on the man at arms instead because. What that abomination wants to do is the transform move forward. But if you do that, you put yourself dazed, and you put yourself in the position to also get manacles and down to this store. Like you really don't want that. Also, even if I shot there, there could have been a guard, and then it would have been kind of difficult to break through. But since we just shoot the man at arms instead, he's already in a in a tenuous position. So I'd love to have uppercut right now just to push that crusader to the back, but oh well, what can you do? There's actually going to be a defender here. That's probably going to give him enough prot to which uh, finish him isn't going to do enough damage. Let's see, it does uh, 2 to 4 right now. Yeah, that's not enough. I can go for a mark for death instead, which is going to reduce his death blow res, so I'm going to I'm gonna do that instead, and we're going to take it from there. So he's probably going to de-transform move forward right now, so he can use his transformation again, and uh, well, we're still fine. We're chilling right now. We're, we're totally chilling. So he's going to move forward, and yeah, this this Man at Arms is definitely going to die this round, like this one is pretty much a guarantee. But for starters, we're going to de-transform here, or we can rake, but it doesn't really do that much damage. We're going to de-transform, we're going to stun the Crusader, like, you remove the Defender, you get the healer out of the equation, and you also do some very serious damage to it. Might have looked like that's a 7, but no, it's a 9 because of the Caltrips. Like, 9 out of 45 is 1 fifth of his health bar just from that stun. Like, that's that's great value when you have the caltrips taking. Of course, the Grave Robber here is going to continue doing her shenanigans. Not a confirmed hit chance, by the way. I think it's a 93, but oh well. Uh, can't really rely on that too much, can we? We're going to drop a Holy Lance here because I think that my Arbalest action is more valuable than my Crusader action. Thankfully, we still do enough damage. Now, the Man at Arms is probably going to act and uh, maybe like drop a pulse or a command before he dies. No? Really? He doesn't want to. Uh, well, I don't mind taking a kill then. Yeah, I really don't mind that. Well, it's uh, pretty much a conf like way more than confirmed chance of taking the kill and I will, like no problem. And after that, we're still in a very good position here because the Grave Robber hasn't done very much. Like, okay, the Bounty Hunter isn't feeling good at all, but the Grave Robber hasn't done very much and that uh, the Crusader is about to get permastunned and the Abomination is getting the second transformation off because he's at 2 HP. Like, that's not a good position to be in. You don't want to be at 2 HP. I'm going to go for a sniper shot on the Grave Robber. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Mark teams, man. <laughs> Mark teams. <laughs> By the way, not a mark! Yeah, what do you mean mark teams? He just one-shot her and she's not marked. Yeah, she has 58 dodge. Arbalest doesn't care. Yeah, that's a, real, a little bit broken. So the Abomination has the caltrips on him, which means that he's gonna take down to this door anyway, so why go sniper shot here? And uh, the Crusader is also in a not a good position. I see him looking to click that Crusader, like that's not a play. That's not a play you want to do. Gonna click that Grave Robber first, that's also not a play you want to do. But uh, let's see where we go from here. So we're gonna get afflicted, and now we have a few things we can do. One of them is uh, pulling the Grave Robber, shooting the Grave Robber, and uh, she probably dies. Like, that's an idea for sure. Another one is just stunning the Abomination, which is also kind of an idea, but not a great one. Another one is stunning the Crusader before you can do any anything. And it's going to be a 70% chance of getting the stun, but I'm going to go for it anyway. We do take it, and this stun is very important, because the Crusader not being able to do anything is obviously great. I wish I could act with the Abomination right now, kind of just to stun the enemy Abom, but we're dazed, so we really can't do that. I think that right now I'm probably going to go for a pull and then a death blow with, uh, with the sniper shot. Like, the chances of getting that kill are very likely, and I think it's worth it. So pull is an 80% chance of, uh, of even getting the, the hit, but just 50-50 death blow, now the Arbals can still act and do whatever she wants. I'm going to go for a heal on the Bounty Hunter, I don't think that's going to be necessary. It's probably going to be a D-Transform heal right now. D-Transform heal doesn't do anything, you just, you're just you just losing the match here. You have to go for a kill on the Bounty Hunter. The Manacles probably didn't get the kill, and that's just going to be a GG in all she wrote for match number 4. So, both of us are 2-1-2, two two, neck and neck. I forgot to, to write down the result from last match, or no, actually I didn't. So yeah, that's 2-1-2, two and, two, and that's going to be all she wrote for today. So... Tomorrow is going to be kind of like the end of what would be the best of 5, but this is a best of 10, it's going to go all the way up to 5, and I still have a lot more teams to play with, and I'm sure Mr. D does too, so 
I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed these matches and uh, fear the WD and I'll see you again another time. Cheers.